So it's day two of CES 2025 and the tech world is buzzing. The show is packed with everything from groundbreaking announcements to robots everywhere and AI in almost every booth. You can't go anywhere without hearing about autonomous this or machine learning that. Here's a quick rundown of the top 10 reveals and some cool finds from the show floor, including how AI is transforming everything from baby gear to gaming. So let's get into it. All right, so uh, Samsung introduced a stretchable micro LED display that alters its shape from flat to raised areas on command. It relies on advanced software that analyzes content and decides which sections to expand, which could be useful for certain gaming or medical visuals. SwitchBot demonstrated a household robot capable of vacuuming, organizing items around the home, purifying the air, monitoring pets, and even transporting small plates of food. This unit relies on machine learning to become more efficient over time, so it gradually learns the layout of different rooms and responds to unexpected obstacles. Sony brought an immersive entertainment system that places participants in a multi-sensory setting where LED panels, haptic guns, and real-time positional tracking blend together. The environment uses algorithms that react to movement and distribute sounds and lighting based on any changes in the player's locations. Lenovo showcased a rollable PC concept with a screen that rises vertically from behind the main body. The rollable display integrates software that recalibrates app layouts when the panel is expanded, preventing layout glitches. Mudralink presented a neural wristband designed to interpret micro-movements in the wearer's arm. It uses electromyography signals, which are translated by an onboard AI model, allowing the user's hand to act like a virtual mouse or keyboard. BMW revealed a panoramic iDrive system that projects critical driving details onto the windshield in a continuous band. The system includes a layer of intelligence that filters out clutter on the HUD, limiting distractions for drivers. Acer displayed an 11-inch handheld gaming PC with enough horsepower for large game libraries, featuring modern AMD components that rely on AI-based optimizations for certain performance and upscaling tasks. Honda unveiled the Zero Saloon electric car, promising robust driver assist features and a system that learns route patterns to tweak battery usage. Unitree demonstrated a G1 humanoid robot with the capacity to carry light items and perform basic tasks, guided by AI-based object detection. AmazeFit showed a fitness watch priced at around $100. It includes voice control, offline maps, health metrics, and an app that taps into machine learning to interpret trends over time. Outside of those primary product announcements, there were other notable moments. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang introduced new graphics cards, specialized AI chips, and a $3,000 supercomputer intended for robotics and automated vehicles. Panasonic launched an initiative called Panasonic Go, supported by a multi-billion dollar investment in Blue Yonder, which has its own language model for supply chain optimization. Panasonic also revealed Umi, an AI-driven wellness coach that offers advice through natural conversations. Some eye-catching robots appeared across the show floor. Mirokai, presented by Enchanted Tools, looked like a fox-like machine that could serve as a concierge or patient companion. It is powered by an AI dialogue setup and includes self-navigation features. RCA exhibited Nipper, a robotic dog that can dance, patrol a residence, and send video notifications if an intruder appears. It adapts to voice commands in multiple languages over a learning phase. Delta discussed a personal AI voice travel assistant within the airline's app. This system would handle flight change requests and personal preferences, helping travelers skip complicated website forms. The USPTO revealed a new collectible card celebrating Dr. Ayana Howard, an AI pioneer who developed robots designed to adapt to children with special needs. Bosch displayed the Revel Smart Crib, equipped with sensors and cameras that track heart rate, respiratory patterns, and other signals. AI routines enable gentle rocking, and an alert system if there is a safety concern, and the crib can later be transformed into a desk. GlocalMe showed off a key tracker for pets that uses multiple coverage options to locate an animal on a worldwide scale. Segway introduced e-bikes under the XFRI and Zyber lines, each with anti-theft, and GPS navigation features. Samsung's booth included a deeper look at smart things with a 
range of connected devices such as an AI washer that stores detergent in a reservoir, a smart tag for pets, and an indoor gardening box supported by sensors that optimize plant growth. WeWalk displayed a new generation smart cane which uses sensors and haptic feedback to guide visually impaired users around obstacles and pairs with a smartphone's AI for navigation assistance. PetCube had a water fountain that filters and purifies water for pets, backed by a UVC light system and an app that tracks daily consumption. Volvo's CEO addressed transportation and infrastructure trends, highlighting the company's path to fossil-free vehicles with added safety features. Atari introduced the GameStation Go, built by My Arcade, containing over 200 Atari titles. It includes controllers like a joystick, D-pad, and trackball, plus a, an SD card slot. My Arcade also displayed the GameStation Retro Go, which is slightly bigger and comes with Capcom hits like Street Fighter II. Both devices are scheduled for a Q3 release. Neurable introduced a set of headphones, the MW75, that detect the user's brain waves to measure focus. A demonstration involved a rocket that moved faster or slower depending on the wearer's concentration levels tracked through EEG sensors. John Deere expanded its AI-focused farming solutions, including self-driving tractors, sprayers that detect weeds or crop areas, and ride-on lawnmowers for large estates or golf courses. Dell announced that it is retiring lines like Latitude and XPS in favor of three main categories, Dell, Dell Pro, and Dell Pro Max, each with base, plus, and premium sublevels. The rebranding aims to simplify consumer choices while still offering different specs and features. XJimmy introduced the Ascend, a large motorized projector screen combined with a sound bar, which pairs wirelessly with the XJimmy Aura 2 short throw projector. The company hinted that it might integrate AI for brightness and color calibration, though it remains a prototype with no firm release date. Xtool revealed the F1 Ultra, a dual laser engraver with both fiber and diode modules that can engrave metals, plastics, and wood. Its software supports black and white images that can be imported and positioned. The engraver calibrates itself by detecting the distance from the target and then applies powerful lasers in a matter of seconds. Viv Health displayed the Viv Ring for health tracking, which has biometrics such as heart rate, stress levels, and oxygen saturation. Its main twist involves AI-generated ambient soundscapes to improve sleep, combined with typical activity monitoring. A pro version planned for later release may include continuous blood pressure checks and AFib detection. Jackery presented a solar roof designed to resemble regular terracotta tiles. It operates at a 25% efficiency rate, slightly higher than many consumer solar panels, and carries a 30-year warranty. Paired with the Jackery Home Power Energy System, it stores solar energy for use later. ESR launched the Geo Digital Pencil, which costs about $30 and integrates with Apple's Find My system. It only needs half an hour to charge and offers around 12 hours of usage, along with a tilt sensor and palm rejection. Amos Fit showed another prototype called V1 Tal, a small camera that sits on a table and uses AI to identify food items being consumed. It pushes the analyzed data, like calories, carbs, proteins, to the ZEP app, creating automatic logs of daily meals. Asus introduced a Chromebook CX-14 at around $200, featuring a 14-inch 1080p display and an Intel Celeron N4500 CPU. A 15-inch variant comes in the new Chromebook Plus line with stronger processors at a slightly higher price. Garmin's Instinct 3 arrived with an AMOLED display option and 24 days of battery life. A solar version has a monochrome MIP screen and might go much longer thanks to sunlight charging. It has additional features such as an integrated flashlight and advanced activity metrics. Even with an outdoors focus, the watch can sync with smartphones to receive notifications and track various health parameters, including heart rate variability. The crowds at day two seemed lighter than they were on the first day, which gave more room for people to test e-bikes, meet caretaker robots, and see advanced baby crib demos. Many automotive companies showcased improvements in autonomy or new concepts, with Waymo preparing for more expansions in multiple US cities. Sony Honda Mobility displayed prototypes of upcoming EVs, emphasizing AI-based personalization. 
Panasonic kept returning to the role of generative AI as a foundational piece for wellness and supply chain optimization, while NVIDIA's new chips were behind numerous robotics demonstrations. Day two at CES 25 proved AI is everywhere. Robots handling chores, smart cribs monitoring babies, and brainwave sensing headphones redefining wearables. From autopilot tractors to stretchable screens, it's all about smarter, adaptive tech simplifying life. And this is just the beginning. Are we ready for this level of innovation or is it reshaping our lives faster than we realize? What excites you most about these changes? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.